Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. My name is Shannon. This channel is about fly fishing in Texas and I try to get out and about as much as possible. This video is on fly fishing on Lake Bastrop, Texas. It was filmed earlier this week. Today is April 17th, 2021. And we've got definite spring-like conditions down there on this particular day. However, the weather has reverted back. I've been holed up in my parents' garage, as strange as that sounds, for the last three days, waiting for the weather to break so I can do a couple of other lakes, Somerville and Fayette. And I'm not getting a break yet. Maybe Sunday, tomorrow I will. But anyway, watch this video, enjoy, like and subscribe if you will. I appreciate that, always. Um, if you have any questions, be sure you put them down in the comments area and I'll be glad to put a full description and I'm supposed to come up with a map for this um, let's see if I can get one created and put it in this video so that you can know where to go quickly to catch mostly bass we might as well call it bass drop because <laughs> there's so many bass there and so few carp um, there are carp though I'll try to put a map in there for you thanks for watching like and subscribe and we'll see you soon on the water all right, all right, all right. We're within a few miles of KUT Radio, University of Texas, Austin. So I get to hear Matthew McConaughey on the radio. It's pretty cool. Anyway, going to Bass Drop today. Hope you like it. It's a very bad choice of weather, but here we go. All right, all right, all right. And this is uh, not a state park. It's actually a local park, so you gotta pay to get in. Let's see here, D to begin. <laughs> All right, press D to continue. Uh, adults. This is a pain in the butt. So anyway, different, but fairly crowded in the park. It's beautiful, it's calm, but it's an ugly day. We'll see how it works out. All right guys, we're here at Lake Bastrop, Bastrop County, just outside of the city of Bastrop, Texas. One of my favorite places in Texas. Used to come here, not to this lake, but to this town back in the early 90s. Really just a fantastic place back then. But uh, lots happened since then um, to the town itself. Big fire, big, big fire back during the drought. And uh, never done this lake, never been to this lake. We're going to give it a go. It's a kind of overcast day, not the optimal weather conditions probably. Supposed to be a cool front coming in later on. But uh, that's what... That's what April in Texas is all about. You never know what you're going to get. Just a huge box of chocolate. So let's go for a ride. Check out Bass Drop, Lake Bass Drop, and see how it goes. This lake is uh, looks beautiful from here. So we'll go, go see if we can get some. All right, guys. We're here in Bass Drop, Texas. Outside Bass Drop at Lake Bass Drop. This used to be a cooling lake, too. There's an outlet right down that away. Um, not having much luck so we're gonna head to the other end of the lake and see what's going on down there because there's like no boats up here even though it's Tuesday there should be some boats I'm hearing noise out here in the reeds and I think it's just gar I think I'm seeing some gar up that way but otherwise this is pretty uh pretty slow and when you don't know what you're doing that can happen so Stick with me and we'll keep moving around on Bass Drop and see what we can find. I really do want to find carp. And I think I've seen a couple of grenel, but um, this is just a whole ball of confusion right now. So let's get on board for a little ride to the other end of the lake and uh, see what's going on down there. Boy, this is one, one messy boat. But anyway, stick with me and we're on our way. Alright guys, we're on Bass Drop today and uh, I'm getting 
stepped on by this lake. Don't know enough about it, of course. That's the way I go into these things. Um, so we're running. We're running and gunning now. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, man, putting it on me right now. All right, guys. So the way I start on the lake I've never been to before is I start by going after bass in the shallows if it's that time of the year and uh and then look for carp because that's what i'm really after so what's happening so far no, no carp no one or two bass you know i can see them up shallow they're really little little fish but uh so that's what's going on uh my phone's blowing up for some dumb reason but uh we're going to keep trying that same method. It's overcast, so water temperature is 75 degrees here on Bass Drop. And the clarity is just off the charts, man. This water is clear now. This water is very, very, very clear. So we're going to go ahead and run the weed line again. Probably all the way. Jeez, man. It's not that big of a lake, but it's really wearing me down. Let's take a look and see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are in April in Texas, and we got ourselves a cool front coming through Bass Drop Lake right now. So about the time you think you can count on something going right, something goes wrong. We got us a cool front here in Bass Drop. Gonna have to kick back in this cove, wait for it to pass over, the, the leading edge of it to pass over, and then uh, see what's left to do. Maybe that's why my phone was blowing up. <laughs> oh man, this, this sucks so bad. <laughs> All right, guys, the weather's stabilized. Um, I'm here by the power plant. You might be able to hear it on Bass Drop. And I, I was just about to declare this a carp free lake when uh, I got into some reeds up here where it's obviously a lot warmer. And I could hear him sucking. So I found some carp in here and we're gonna give it a go. See if we can break the record for the lake record for carp on bass drop. This should be interesting. Man, everything's gotten really interesting now. Weather's settled down, sun's coming out and uh, conditions are changing like rapidly. But the problem is they're over in the reeds. I can hear him sucking over in the reeds and uh, can't really get to them. So let me just uh, lift up the camera and show you what that looks like. This is over by the power plant, in case you're wondering. And the code by the power plant. I can put it, a mark on it on the, uh, on the description of the, of the video. But that's what it looks like. And they're all up in there. So you can't really get to them unless you just happen to see them coming out, which is really difficult because they're coming out. It's really difficult because they're coming out into into deeper water from that super shallow stuff so the only way you can get to them is if is if uh they happen to come out and stop very difficult we're gonna give it a go though because i can't stand it to hear them and not be able to catch them all right guys we're headed into maybe a perfect scenario we got some wind blowing right into those reeds back there so fish should be front and bass should be fronting those reeds you know i found that spot back there with carp i'll mark that for you but they weren't they weren't eating, they were up in the grass and up in these tall stuff. So that's what's going on. But now we're in a whole nother part of the lake and we're gonna try and see if we can nab a couple bass off the front of there. Come here, come here. You're a very spirited fish for a little bit of bug. Yeah, you got some spirit, yeah? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 you bit me, you bit me, you bit me. That fish been caught before. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's pretty green, man. Pretty. Ow! Bit me again. Don't bite me. Don't let you go. Man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bit me three times. So guys, look at that, not bad, Ooh, greeny, very green.
Hey, 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 hey. try to get the hook out, which is kind of interesting. But, but that's a nice fish, huh? Pretty. This is a uh, bass drop bass. Pretty nice. Best one I've caught so far. Look at that tail. Beautiful. Hard here in Bastrop. There's oh, there's some really good fighting little bass. Bass drop. <laughs> Man, these fish are doing doing me justice here. Big bunch of them over here on this side. I can see the uh, power plant right over there to give you an idea of where I am. And I think right around the corner is a, a, a public boat boat launch type thing. These guys are just sucking this down. Man, look at this. They just keep getting bigger too. Man, that guy's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Nice fish. Oh, don't want to hold him home like that right there. Yeah. Don't want to don't want to hurt him. Woo! These guys are mean mothers. <sighs> nice fish, man. Colors is awesome. They're way down in the grass, so you gotta let it, let it sink more than you think you should. Nice bass, though. Whew. That's three, three and five minutes. Pretty good run. Guys, I think the bass and bass drop stands for bass. Uh, I, I just a crazy number of bass in this lake. And uh, finally figured out what they want to eat. There's nothing big. Oops, oops, lost the tension there. These guys seem to be coming in droves now. And it may be that with the weather change and the barometric pressure change, they're getting ready to eat. We're going to go back to where we started and see if there's any up there. But uh, these guys are really just on right now to this fly, especially. Well, another little guy. Bass drop. Not too surprising that there's a, a five pound record for fly fishing on this lake, but, but there's only <laughs> a one pound carp. And I saw some huge ones, but they are not in the eating mood. Okay, guys, bass drop, bass straw. This is crazy, man. I've never caught, I don't think I've caught this many bass on fly off a boat. Uh, maybe not ever, maybe not even no matter what, not just the boat. These guys are fighters now. They really are. Ooh, uh, getting nice size, but a lot of fight for the weight. A lot of fight. They're just not used to being caught. They're not used to being caught, that's all there is to it. There we go. Right on the lip with a carp fly. Coyote carp fly. Kind of find a new home. It's very, it won't hook a really big fish, a really big bass because the bass's lips are too thick. This gape on this hook is just right for getting these little guys right on the lip. And this is just exactly what happened here. It's a good sharp hook too. Man, this day is wacky. Just a wacky, wacky day. There we go. Beautiful fish. Ah. 
Huh? Sweet little baby. Sweet, 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 sweet. Man, they're making angry fish. Those are angry bass. They're not happy. All right, guys, I'll have a map for you on, on the, either on this video or on my website, www.texasflycaster.com. To sum it up about bass drop, a lot of bass, not much drop. So anyway, it's a, it's a fun lake, very clear, um, very, very doable by kayak. And I will also on that map drop a pin where you want to be with your kayak. Because I launched on the north side, which is probably not the best place. And uh, there's some hazard areas over here on this side by this other park, but um, very reachable by kayak if you wanted to come out and get you some bass. So, Bass Aholics Anonymous, come on out to Bass Drop Lake here east of Austin. Great town, at least it used to be. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> I haven't been in town. I probably won't go this trip spent all day on this lake but uh, this is a, a, a really clear water lake you know and very very manageable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it I think and um, and go back to Houston thanks for watching guys like and subscribe and we're headed to Somerville tomorrow it's a full burn baby spring has sprung